Hi, so I got a question on how you can model in ArchiCAD the architraves for the windows and for the doors. So basically the moldings that you usually see at, on historic buildings. If you want to maybe uh, do the measurements for one of these and you want to draw it out model in ArchiCAD, how you can do that. So I'm going to show you how right now. First of all, I just have drawn out a wall with the window in it. It's pretty basic. Then I'm gonna go in my four plan view and I'm gonna remove the marquee first of all. And then I'm gonna draw a section through the window and I'm gonna open it. Once we open the section, we're gonna draw out here at the top part of the window the shape that we want our architrave to have, so the section of it. So I'm just gonna draw a line out and then multiply it a few times. You can just trace one out that you find on the internet, it's not that complicated. Let's say that this is what we want to do. So once we have the uh, basic shape outlined, I'm gonna use my fill tool, hold down the space bar and click. So we have the fill created, then I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna copy it. Once we did that, we're gonna go to options, no, to design, complex profile, profile manager. We're going to click here on the create a new profile. I'm going to call this 01. Okay, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, once we have it here, I'm just going to select it and drag it. And I'm going to put it here in my, the center point of the drawing. I'm going to store the profile. So here we have it stored. And let's say the the material of it should be the paint pink blush. I'm gonna hit override and then I'm gonna X out and store the profile if it asks me to. Once we did that we're gonna go back in our floor plan. I'm gonna select my wall tool and here in the properties of it I'm gonna select this third option so the structure will be basic composite or complex profile. I'm gonna click OK and then here you can select that here too, you can change that option. Here you're gonna search for the profile you just created, so 0 0.1. And then I'm just gonna place it along the length of the window. We're gonna go in our 3D view. And as you can see it placed it way down because the bottom of it is placed at the zero dimension so I'm just gonna drag it so move drag and I'm gonna drag it upwards and then uh, snap it to the top of the window also while I have it selected I'm gonna change the material of it so I'm gonna click on these two icons connect the, the materials and then I'm gonna select the same pink blush so as you can see, now we have the, let me move the editing plane. Now we have our architrave created. You can basically do this in any shape you like. Then for the side elements of, of this, it, you can you do the same thing but use a column. So I'm going to go back in my 2D view. As you can see now we can't see the wall we just created, the architrave we just created. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go here and see uh, and do the four plan display outlines only. And then also I'm going to select here home story only. So it only shows me it on the floor plan. So here and then it's outlined. Then I'm gonna go select my column and here I'm gonna select also the this third option. 
which allows me to add the profile to the column. Here we can see that we don't have this profile that we created before, so I'm going to click on edit profile here and I can see that it's not available for columns, we can't use it with columns, I'm going to just select it, store it, X out and now if we go to our column we can see that we have it here. Once you selected the profile that you want, you're just going to make sure you place it in the right position so we're, we're gonna have to rotate it like this right and then just put it in place we're gonna go in our 3d view and we can see that the material of it is funky so I'm just gonna change it back to make it be pink blush okay once it's the same material as the one that's on the top of the window I'm gonna select it and adjust the height of it so it goes over there and the top part of it the lo lower part of it bring it up uh, in order to be able to do that once you select it and click uh, one of these buttons make sure this option is selected the stretch height option so we can see that they don't really intersect. I'm going to go back in my floor plan view and just get this all the way here. So there you have it. So this is how it looks so far. I'm just going to mirror this column on this other side as well. So I'm going to go in my floor plan, select it move, mirror copy, hold it down and then just drag it over here and this one extend it so that it meets this other one in 3D we can see that we have everything created now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do an identical one over here so what we're gonna do is D duplicate the profile that we have here for the upper part and we're gonna just name it 0 0.2 okay and we're gonna edit it and we're just gonna move mirror not rotate I'm sorry move mirror and move it so that it's like this and we're gonna just gonna store it move drag a copy I'm gonna bring it down and then snap it over here you can either leave it like this which is not too bad it kind of looks okay now it has the zero one profile you can change it to zero the second one just move it up and then these other columns you can just stretch them downward so that it snaps with this so this is how you can do the custom architraves for your windows for a more simple side element so side trimmers you can just delete these and then go in your floor plan view draw a section facing the wall open it select your morph tool and just draw it out in your section so just give it a nice thickness go in your 3d view select it place it in the right spot Let's change the material of this as well. And just give it a little bit of thickness. So with this option selected, stretch it out maybe a centimeter. So this is how it looks.
So next, if you want to maybe do it triangular, you're going to go in your flo floor plan view and you're going to split this wall into half. Once you have that, you're going to draw a section facing the wall again, open it, and then you're going to select your wall and you're going to, one of these walls, the, let's say the left one, convert to morph, okay? And then the next one as well, convert selection to morph. Once you did that, you're going to rotate each of them. So, move, rotate, and let's say 19 degrees, I don't know why. And also this one, minus 19. So if we go in our 3D view, we can see that they are rotated. We're going to select one. With the morph tool selected, select this face, and extrude it out, push and pull out, sorry, and then this other one as well, and then you can select it again, push it back to the intersection of the two, the same with this. So this is how it looks like this, you can go back in your section, select with the eyedropper tool the morph that's surrounding the window and just draw out another one to fill in the space that's left here. Put it in place. Then pull it out one centimeter. So this is how it looks. Okay, I hope this helps you out. Bye!